The family of Kendall Peterson Jr. is shocked, angry, and upset about the shooting that left the man they thought would eventually succeed his father as the patriarch of his clan dead. The shooting happened at Peterson's home in Frederickstead during the early hours of Thursday morning on January 5th. Officers say they were forced to open fire after the 30-year-old refused to drop the weapon he was carrying and advanced towards them. Peterson was hit once, according to police, in the upper body. The specific make and model of the firearm he was carrying has still not been identified. At a press conference on Tuesday afternoon, we spoke to Peterson's family outside of their Frederickstead home. They were surrounded by several family members, friends, and a large portion of the Frederickstead town community. The victim's father, a delegate of the 5th Constitutional Convention and local activist Kendall Peterson Sr., says the family wants a detailed investigation to find out what exactly happened to Ken. But rather than the local police authorities, they're asking that the FBI step into the matter. Kendall Peterson Sr., or Seagull, as he is affectionately known to many of his friends, says he wants to public to know the truth. He said the Virgin Islands Police Department is covering up this investigation because what they did was not right. Peterson said the officer who shot his son is not fit to wear the uniform and he, as well as many concerned members of the community, demand justice. We're here to speak on all the false report that public safety has been putting in the newspaper. They have made it sure that the public will believe that my son was committing a crime when they murdered him, which in truth, he was in his bed with his wife and his four kids and his two little brothers, when they came to his house and put him on his knees and executed him. Number one, the newspaper said that the police report said that they came at 6.30, which number one is the biggest lie. They came between 5 o'clock and 5.15 in the dark. They came fully masked. They came to my house at the same time, fully masked down. When I hear my door kicking down and I see a light in my face, all I saw was masked men. I didn't know there was police until I asked, who is this? That is when they told me it's police. I swear they came to kill me. The police that killed my son, that executed my son, told them guys they're going to kill them. Okay? He's in the town of fear right now for threatening brothers on the street. I even got certain police that trained him that came and told me they will testify that this guy shouldn't be on the force. He's the most jittery guy. He have a mental problem. And the police have him with ski masks coming into people's house. This is Ken's son, three months old, and they had an automatic weapon at this child's head. What's the reason for that? According to the Virgin Islands Police Department, internal affair agents have launched a use of force investigation into the officer in question's shooting, in addition to the investigation being conducted by the Investigation Bureau, which is a standard procedure. The elder Peterson at today's press conference today not only questioned the VIPD's methods in carrying out the police raid, but also accused them of spreading misinformation regarding the location on Peterson Jr.'s body where he was shot. The police didn't reach the hospital until 2 o'clock that afternoon. The sergeant that worked on him came out to the family and told us he's very sorry for what happened because he used all the blood in the hospital and no hospital could have saved this boy's life. He said whoever did this was a very evil person because he had to be on his knees when he was shot. He told us straight up, the bullet went through his ear, went in his body, bounced around and came out his chest. At that time, I went back into the hospital and re-examined my son again because we really, we really thought he had a bullet hole in his chest. When I examined my son, I saw the hole in his ear, confirming what the doctor said. At that time, the doctor didn't know that the police was the one that shot him. The reason why the doctor didn't know that because the police didn't escort him. He was never arrested, and he was not escorted to the hospital. The family was able to get the medical report, which we have. Controversy to what Melody Rames been saying. And her last report was the autopsy will prove, quote, in quotations, the autopsy will prove that what they're saying is true. This morning, we sent out letters from Friday. My attorney sent out CC letters to the Attorney General Office, the Governor's Office, the Hospital Attorney Office, asking them to make sure we can have our own private pathologist there to perform this autopsy, please don't touch his body. The hospital said they were honored. When his wife went up to pick up the other part of the report at the hospital, they told her that they were going to perform the autopsy this morning. When she went to the attorney general office, 
and begged them, please don't touch her husband. They told her, we're going to execute this autopsy right away. At the press conference, Kendall Peterson Sr. and his wife, visibly shaken by the loss of her son, both accused the Virgin Islands Police Department of lying to their 14 and 11-year-old sons about the exact cause of Kendall Peterson Jr.'s death. When my son then come over here, they told my son then that my son shot himself. Right. I don't know how you could shoot yourself from the back. You understand me? I want justice for my child. But my child was a good boy. Yeah. I need yeah. justice and I want it right just and I want it now. Yes, that's right. You understand me? I want it now. Right. That is what they told my son 12 years old and 14 years old to come over to his mother's house to tell his mother that his son or son yeah, killed himself. So, what is this? Murder. You know, what can we say? This is an outright assassination, execution, and the people of the Virgin Islands. Right. The violation of his civil rights, his religious rights, and his indigenous rights as a bloodline of these Virgin Islands here for hundreds of years before the American flag came here. They have no jurisdiction over our indigenous rights to use our spiritual and our medicinal herbs. The Virgin Islands Police Department said, along with a semi-automatic handgun that was recovered from the rear of the building, as well as a waste holder, they also confiscated about three pounds of marijuana and a large amount of cash that was also taken from the home. This is Marshall Webster, Kendall Peterson Sr.'s lawyer, and here's what he had to say about that claim. One of the reasons for this press conference is the diffuse, the lies, and misinformation the police has been putting out there in public. They try to tell you they... Um, Seize three pounds of marijuana and they find a gun and they find a large sum of money. First of all, there was no large sum of money. Okay? The money that they found was to pay the rent. All right? And to pay other expenses that Mr. Kendall Peterson and his family and his wife had. There was no large sum of money. And let me ask any of you do you think that is justified? For any police to come in your house five o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping, to break down your door without knocking and announcing, point guns to you, your wife, and your children for three pounds of marijuana? No. You think that's justified? No. Of course not. Okay? And that's why they're understanding the three pounds of marijuana. The facts are that Kendall Peterson Jr. was found dead in his wife, sitting right here. She will tell you that she heard her husband say to them, you shoot me and I have nothing in my hand. And that she could hear her husband telling them that, you shoot me and I have nothing in my hand. That's the evidence. My son was the humblest of matter of fact. Yes, yes, yes. There's the love yes. child he was called all his life. Right. I was comfortable when I leave saying, cry, that all my siblings were safe because they had another father here. That is the kind of son I had. The most loving youth the protector of his family. My mother told me for years, and I thought she wasn't, she had it in her head good when she was telling me this. But she come in my head from small. Ken, home is the best place. Right. I thought right. she was crazy. But I come it in my children's head, home is the best place. Mm -hmm. But how safe is our home now? That the police can come to his home. We ain't so safe in our home. I'm crying out for the community, for everybody to stand up. And I've solved this situation because if it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody. So I'm asking the FBI to come and take over this case and, and, and have a full investigation on this police department. That was Kendall Peterson Sr. earlier today at a press conference in front of his family's home. The Virgin Islands Police Department says this case remains active and open, and Criminal Investigation Bureau detectives are following it up, including the investigation of the two murder cases. Meanwhile, the Peterson family said they're now working to find a way to pay for funeral expenses.